Hello and welcome to Economics. It's a quirky mix of roguelite and city builder. Build a lively little city above by looting mystical caves with a team of gnomes below. Use multiple runs to unlock upgrades and abilities to help your gnomes venture deeper into the dangerous underground. This is developed by Irox Games and published by Untold Tales. It has no release date announced yet, but uh, I don't know, maybe later this year or something. We'll see. And as far as I know, it will become a full release game when it releases. Let's just go jump in and take a look at this. Uh, there was one thing, camera shake, if that's something that bothers you. Uh, make sure you check that setting out. And uh, I think that was all the existing items that needed to be dealt with. Yep. So let's just go ahead and jump in and play a new game. Homeland lies a legendary treasure buried deeper than any gnome has ever dared to tell. Hidden beyond the most terrifying dangers of the caves. Like chickens with three eyes, trees that call lightning, and worst of all, bats so large they gobble up a gnome in a single bite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We won't find none of that scary stuff. Not unless we get deep enough. <laughs> okay, let's get some more wood to hire more gnomes. The woodcutter will help us with that. Move him to the meadow next to those bushes. And so you get uh, these little characters here, and they are your, your gnomes. Of course, you've got your kind of chief gnome here, and then these ones uh, will do a job for you. And so we can move them to this place where it's telling us to. And then um, we need to start the week, which you do by pressing this button or pressing space. So we'll do that. And during the week, they will each take seven actions, or up to seven actions. Uh, and in this case, we were able to chop all seven trees. And then we also need food to feed the bats every week. If we go deeper, their numbers will increase. You need to feed the bats with food. They will eat more the further you get. The bat indicator shows how much food the bats will eat after each week and how much you have left. Now, hire a hunter. So we'll come down here and hit this or tab. And then we have open to us just one hunter right now. Uh, but we can also, or just a hunter right now under the food category. But there's a few other categories. There's a couple of specials here. And then there's two more under wood besides the woodcutter we have. So we'll hire this, uh, this hunter. And then the hunter needs to be placed nearby animals. So we'll put the hunter here. Hunts nearby animals. Can reach one tile using his bow. Range can be increased with with upgrades. Okay. And we also want to move the woodcutter to be near some more trees because there are four trees there. There are three uh, animals here and we'll get three food and we'll get four wood and we'll go. And that'll finish up this particular uh, uh, level um, because we've collected everything we can here. So, of course, the bats come in and collect their food, but we need to go deeper down. So we'll click on the uh, the guy in charge up here, and we can travel down, 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 down. But we're going to go to this one first, of course. Careful, the cracked tiles are unstable. Your gnomes will take a minor hit, but survive there. All right, so we need to put them in such a place that they can collect the food and, and the wood. Uh, you are the hunter. We're going to put you here. So you collect this 4x chicken versus that 2x. Uh, and there's something that I know that you all don't know just yet, but uh, I will show you all in just a moment. But the problem is that... Actually, this will be fine. So there's three there and five there. And then hopefully we'll remove these three, which we should, and then we can get this seven in the next week. So you see they are hunting the uh, chickens, and we are... We are chopping the trees. We missed. We left one behind here. We did collect seven wood. And then we also lost some food. We could go down further, and maybe we should go down further. But we could also um, stay here and chop some more trees. But we're going to get attacked by four bats again. Uh, we're going to lose... Unclear. Oh, we gained four. We're going to lose six food to bats if we stay here. And because we're so lean on food... We might want to leave, or we could stay. I think we'll stay, and we'll do this next set of wood here. And then we'll, we'll lose, of course, six food to the bats. Careful, we need enough food to feed the bats. Yep. Oh, how do we gain more food? Interesting. 
Okay, so we can come down again. Oh no, not you. Improve your gnomes. Whispers, just steal her supplies and let's move on. Go ahead and place a gnome on a banner. Okay, so we could steal the food here, I guess. Uh, we could also um, increase our productivity or our flying ability. Um, allows your gnome to work in the air. And this one, uh, the gnome will work one more time per turn. We can only afford one of these, but uh, that's okay. Um, so maybe we want to do um, the hunter because productivity on the hunter would be nice. That would be kind of nice. Let's do that. I guess we got to keep the food. Maybe that was the 15 food we gained was the food that's sitting here. Okay, let's move on down. And then uh, we can either choose to travel to a tree place or one of either of the um, food places. Uh, I think we should go to this food place here. I don't know if we want to go to that uh, cave with the scary eyes in it. Okay, so woodcutter. Let's put you here. And hunter. Let's put you here. You can clean up a bunch of this food in one fell swoop because you get to attack twice. So that's five, ten, and four. That's exactly how much we need. Excellent. And this one, you won't get all, you get all but three of those. Let's try this out. Wait, you missed one? Didn't that say 14? Because you took a little damage because the rock fell away, but not entirely. Uh, and then we're going to want to do this set of trees plus that one, maybe. But we also need to collect some more of this food. So maybe this one is the best one or that one. Uh, how much do you have? Seven. And you have six. Yeah, this is the best one. Let's do this. And you saw they finished up there before the time ran out. And you took a little damage. Uh, we might want to move on but not just yet we have five there we have six and three there let's do the six and three at least before we move on okay uh let's see there's four here we could collect there's five there do we want to do one more try or do we want to move on uh, we're gonna we lose seven at a time so unless we're getting close to seven it's not a great idea to stick around I don't think um, but we could do one more, but I think we're going to move on. I think we'll move on. So we could go and travel to this cave. I don't know what's in that cave other than obviously some kind of evil. Uh, or we could go to this cave here. And notice the caves, by the way, are filling in as we can no longer get to them. Uh, I don't know that I want to do the evil looking cave yet. So let's go to this one instead. Uh, you have a lot of food available to you. What's this over here? Some kind of a tree stump. Keep it in check. It tries to run away. It has five health. It'll give us seven wood and something else. Uh, I don't know what this something else is there. We can keep that in mind. Oh, let's see. Woodcutter maybe going here wouldn't be bad. And then maybe going there with the food guy wouldn't be so bad. Let's go. Okay. And then I think we'll woodcut the stump. And we can also get some more food, but we only have two or two left. Which is not great. Oh, we get more domes? Wait a minute. It said tab for gnomes. Or is flagging me for gnomes. I wonder if you can can you take more you must be able to take more of a certain type. Uh, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But we'll go with this for now. Okay, and that left some multicolored splatter all over the place. Oh, and then we lost the access to this one. Uh, that's not great, then. So maybe we move on. Let's move on. We'll come down here, and we can buy both of these now. So productivity or range. Well, we could use woodcutter productivity. And we could use range on the hunter. And then let's move on. And let's see what's in this extra, extra scary cave here. We never got so deep before. Oh boy. Creepy chicken. Alright, so let's see. Oh. Legendary Roost Lord. So we need to do that woodcutter. Or that. 
that. We should go... No, we want to corner it, so let's do this one. Stay there. And let's take the hunter. Weird that it doesn't let me grab that. There we go. Uh, and you've got two range now, so maybe there's a great place for you. Also, did I intentionally rotate? Okay, there we go. Uh, go, please. Got that one. All right. What you gonna do? Oh, we got to feed nine bats. Okay, and then this. And you're kind of useless unless we can attack you. We attack the bird. Let's see. Uh, then maybe we stay down here. Let's see. Oh, yes, we are attacking the bird. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, then we get some more stuff. Ah. Lots more stuff. I like stuff. Uh, that's a good place still for you. That, that'll work. Got that one. Lots of food to feed the roost lord with. And then you attach onto there. Uh, you'll still probably hit these. Let's see, move. And maybe I should move. And then this one here, we do need to try and corner this thing, but... Got that one. Got that one. Got that one, too. Nice. I don't know what the multicolored technicolor stuff is. Still here. Okay, so you can come down here and collect all those. You can see right there. Nice. Oh, we lost. How'd we lose you? Curious. Okay. Oh, you're you're directly attacking. You don't you don't bother with the food. Okay. I don't know how we lost the woodcutter, though. We succeeded. The monster perished. Seven caves. Uh, still don't know what the, the multicolored stuff is. There are two of these. Okay. Left click. And so then the game takes us out onto the surface. That was close. We found some loot. We could use the loot to buy many upgrades. New gnomes, new building blueprints, new abilities. They got it all covered. Spend our loot to unlock some new gnomes. All right. So down here, uh, we can take the boomeranger. Uh, this is all we have as far as tech tree. Uh, there's a mushroom jungle we'll have some more in, but all we can take is the boomeranger at this point. And then we can not take these because these take something we don't have yet. We can take the cook. Grabs nearby ma material and food to cook soup. Okay, we're gonna cook soup down there. Let's put these new gnomes to work. Back to the caves. Down we go. Okay, so Leafy Hollows, um, and the other ones are locked, so let's start. Okay, and then uh, gnomes, we need a woodcutter, of course. I think we should do this one. And then we want a hunter, probably, or a boomerang. Have you been upgraded? Maybe. We can't afford the cook yet. Let's see what the boomerang one does, just for fun. Put you right here. There's a boomerang that can bounce from chicken to chicken. Bounces once without upgrades. All right, so it'll kill two then. Which is kind of good. Okay, we collected a bunch of stuff. I don't want to move you, but I think I actually won't move you. Or maybe I, Actually, I will move you over here. I want to also take this one out too, but I don't like that. I think I'll leave it here. I want to collect some trees or something. You're kind of done. Unless you can also attack the stump. I don't know if you can or not. We're going to go see though, because we don't have anything else for you to do at this point. Yeah, you can't. Okay. Okay, so we didn't get that one yet. Ouch! All right, you can go there. I don't know that I want to keep doing this. I don't think I want to keep doing this. Let's go Ooh, a chest. Let's go to the chest level here. You may discover chests on your expedition. They will unlock a new unlock new cosmetic buildings for your town. 
20 wood. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, you'll probably want to go get that. And it'll be stuck there, so that'd be kind of good. And this can go here. Yeah, I can't get all of them in one shot there. Uh, that's okay and safe. This is the one we got to take out because this is the one that's got uh, broken underneath it. Oh, you went down there. I don't need to go down. That's a bummer. Okay. We lose those. Um, go up here next. Although we're going to lose those two if we move there. So maybe you go here and you go here. Four and three. That's perfect. Yeah, you'll be kind of bored for most of the time, but... Uh, I think it's better this way. Take a little more damage. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, buddy. You can come over here this time. You can go over there this time. And then that'll get us enough to move on. Or to get us done, then we can move on. Alright, let's, let's move on. Uh, let's see. So that's there. Next, we could go to the upgrader. Uh, which we have 49, so it might be a good idea. This will get us some food, though, which will also be a good idea. But uh, let's see. Productivity and flying. Uh, the woodcutter could use productivity, right? Because we see... Yeah. We might as well do flying, right? Sure. Okay. And then let's come down here to the empty cave. It's just a generic cave. Uh, what do we lose? These trees. That log guy, we're going to lose. He, if he stays there, he'll leave or he'll he'll die, but that's okay. You can go here. Uh, and then the boomeranger can go up here. Does it tell me that I or one? I, okay. It just tells me the info about it. Okay, I was wondering if it would tell me what the upgrades were on it. It'd be kind of oh it tells me that it's got the productivity and this one tells me it's got the or the the flying this one tells me it's got the flag for times two so that makes sense okay good job uh, let's move this you can stay up there and we'll have you do some more of that uh, this one here I think I want to go over like this maybe Then we'll get these ones, and then you can move down here and get those ones. And that would be great. There, please. And here, please. Go. We'll have collected everything again, and then we can move on to the next level. Great. Okay. Well, we're kind of low on food, which is not good. Uh, chest, or should we go toward this one? I think we should go this way, because then we can get to this food if we make it that far. Let's do this. Oh, let's see. So, uh... Boomeranger, you go over here and collect all those. You're damaged, so I want to be careful with you, but I think if we go here, that'll be all right. And maybe we go there after, because you're going to collect eight there. I hope. No, you only got seven. Okay. And then we lost those chickens. Um, but we got that thing. And then I think I'll go here. We'll finish up that chicken. And then we'll move on. Uh, but we're going to just about break even here, which isn't good. Uh, we got two or one food. And we spent eight. And yeah, that's not good. Okay. This is going to be bad. We're probably going to lose. Uh, this one here... Just. Hey everybody, I'm Nami Tome, and welcome to my Gnome Tube channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make traditional gnomish roast chicken. Step one, get your chicken. <laughs> Step two, turn the chicken into meat. <laughs> Step three, cook the chicken in a traditional gnomish fire pit. Step four, eat the chicken the gnomish way, face first. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this gnomish roast chicken tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a gnome-tastic day. Bye! <laughs> okay. Uh, just click, yeah, click to get rid of that. So you can chop those trees. Uh, you, we definitely need to have...
collecting these uh, chickens because we're going to lose them after one day. So get as many of those 12 as you can. And I think that's all right. All righty. And then you can come down here and collect those. I should get that, but also... I want it to end at a better spot for me. So let's do this first. We'll do another... Another day. Yeah, we'll do another day. You can go there. You can go here. That would be nice to do, but... Actually, this isn't going to be good. We're only going to get four chicken. And we're going to lose nine. So actually, we're going to we're gonna die here. But that might be a, not a bad idea anyway. To experience it once. The bats got too hungry and attacked. So we completed six of 13 caves on this dive. Uh, we got some stuff uh, spent, I guess. So let's move back up to the surface and take a look at what... Using wood is only going to get us so far. Let's start producing some goods to unlock more upgrades. Pick up some blueprints for a lumber mill. Okay... Oh, now we got a little bit more uh, trees here. Uh, trees. <laughs> um, lumber mill. That's great. And then everything else requires what these must be. This, the planks we make at the lumber mill, plus other things there. It's like food uh, pouches of some kind, which is probably the cook that I didn't even try this time. And then uh, whatever this flag thing is. So now build a lumber mill so we can start producing goods. Uh, tab to build. Lumber mill. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure the entrance is connected to a path, otherwise the gnomes can't work. Ah, path. Okay. Uh, Q and E to rotate, and you kind of just have to slot the grid in here. Oh, there's the entrance. Okay. Slot it in here to the grid, however you'd like. Uh, I think that's that's nice. Gnomes will deliver wood to the lumber mill and process it into material rations. We have a lot of wood here. Uh, once we get some spare rations, we can take them with us on expedition to make our lives a little easier. Now keep gathering resources in the mines. Turn them into goods here in the city. And most importantly, go deeper. We can need to find that legendary treasure. Actually, we don't need you anymore. Uh, so we've got lots of wood. Um, move, destroy, cancel, I guess. Yeah, okay. Uh, so they are dumping off wood here. We can take these, which would give us that. And is that something we want to take to spend right away? Maybe. Passing the boomerang can bounce off in gnomes. Boomerang bounces one more time. Oh, I see. So wood plus food equals three food. Hmm. That's not bad. Should try that one out, I guess. Pipes here to connect by the pipes I saw in the uh, in here. Uh, straight pipe. Pipe split. Okay, what was the minimum number of these we needed for something? Two. If we want the boomerang to bounce one more time, okay, so that's the upgrade. That's the upgrade we want. Or we could do the straight pipe. We don't know what we do the we use pipes for. Uh, except maybe the artificer. Uh, skilled crass gnome infusing boss drops. Which are those leaf thingies with Mistorium, which is the multicolor thingy to create artifacts. All right, let's do the bouncy boomerang, maybe. And I don't know what that is yet. Um, need the food. Beaver trainer. Bomber man. Did I see kitchen? Yeah, I saw kitchen there. We need four lumber for that. But I don't see why we can't make a couple more here. Before we move on. Three wood makes one lumber down there at the bottom uh, left. So we just kind of got to give them time to make the stuff. What else is around here? Just to see. There's another hole, couple holes. And that's kind of it. Kind of in a little grotto here. I don't know if those holes are other mines we can delve down. Must be. Because we did get the option to choose or to see multiples. So that's probably what it is. You only carry one at a time. Ouch. Okay. 
Maybe you took two the first time. I didn't see. Okay. And then let's um, go in here. And buy the kitchen. Wood has turned into food rations. Let's not get into the details. And then we can tab to build and build the kitchen. Uh, this doesn't need the pipes, though, so I think we should do... Hmm. Curious. I could connect it over there, but I think I should do it like this, maybe. It'll let me. Building a lumber mill can help you process your wood into material rations. You can process them further or take them in expeditions where they will be exchanged for bonus resources. Your buildings need a path from their entry to the storage. Gnomes will bring wood to the lumber mill even when you're not there. Go to an expedition and reap your rewards afterward. Yeah, so this needs a little bit more path. And do we have path available to us? Now let's move that then slightly. But it also won't let me move the decorative... Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Well, it would be okay, but that's not what I wanted you to do. Let's do this then. All right. Now we've got a kitchen available too. Um, I don't know though how that works. The kitchen wood is turned into food rations. Yeah. Okay, so you're just taking wood in there. Okay. So then let's go on another expedition. And these must be those other two holes. Uh, whatever they lead to, I don't know. Um, food ration provides additional 10 food. Material ration provides an additional 10 material. Map. Skip the first five islands and receive 60 material. Or voucher, that's what the coupon is. Gives you one free reroll every time you visit Helena's shop during an expedition. So can I take, like, stuff? Kind of grayed out. Um, oh, I gotta take these, maybe. And you've got... Where do you output the food at? Over there. There it is. Uh, can I take those with me, then? Yes, I can. Okay, so we'll take a food ration. And we'll take two of these. Oh, we can only take one... Okay, you only take one of each thing. Curious. Okay, let's go. Uh, lots of wood over there. Um, let's do a woodcutter, of course, then. Uh, something like that wouldn't be bad. We do need to destroy these uh, first. Let's take a look again at the um, boomeranger. And... Don't have enough for the cook at this point. So let's uh, go ahead and do a week. Okay. Good. And then you might want to stay there, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to move you over there. Take out these two chickens. I think I'm going to move on, though. Because we, we got all the food. I think we'll move on. Uh, let's go... Do I want this? I don't think so. Let's just pick one at random. Uh, let's see. Woodcutter. You can start there. Chicken guy, you should really go... To one of these, it's going to be lost. But... I don't want to limit you to just three... So I think we're going to do that instead. Which is unfortunate, but that's the way that it goes. Uh, I think I'd like to try the cook. Which I'm guessing could go here. Grabs nearby material and food to pick up to cook soup. So you... Oh, you have to be collect from these guys then. Okay, so you can go here. And you can go here. And that'll work. Yeah, let's do that. Great. So you're done. Uh, you're not yet. Do we want to? Yeah, we we can we can stay here. Uh, we don't get any more food though, so the cook's not going to do any good. I think I'm going to chop some more trees because we could use the um, wood now. We made a lot of food from the cook, so that's kind of good. Good job. Oh man, I would like for you to not be there. 
but that's okay. Usually you ran away too far. All right, it is what it is. Let's uh, move on. Down here. You need to go there, so you can take out those. You need to go here, so you can take out a lot of trees. So we'll cook right there. And then I would like to do the same over here, with keeping you where you're at. Great. And then finally... I want you to move here. And maybe we'll do two weeks here. Maybe. You see they were attacking him? Uh, that's not good. Let's do one more just to collect some more wood. Even though we're not going to get another one of these enemies. But I think that's enough because we're losing food. So let's uh, move on. Uh, we could do the upgrades. We have a decent amount of food. Uh, we don't. Have, we have enough, actually, extension. Collects resources that are exactly two tiles away. And bouncy. The boomerang bounces one more time. That's a good thing to do for boomerang guy here. The boomerang, yes, yeah, boomerang. And then extension is yours. But does that mean you lose the ability to collect the stuff adjacent to you now? We'll have to see. Yeah, it must be. That's a crazy axe. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, travel here then, please. Yeah. So you now can't get the adjacent stuff. You have to get the farther stuff. Which is fine. We just got a plan for it. Uh, that'll be okay. That might be bad. Oh, no, this is good. This is good here. And then um, you can get... This one. And the cook can go right here. Good. We lost that one. Uh, you need to go here. And you can go there. And then the cook's not going to be able to get anything. Oh, we need to open this chest too. 20 food. Nice. Okay. I think I'll leave you there, and the cook or the hunter can go over here. Got that, and that, and that's good enough for me, I think. Move on. Down here we go. I didn't even see what was all this stuff we may have wanted to do instead. It's okay. Uh, let's see. There's uh, some tree stuff up here. There's some food stuffs down there. Uh, so if we do the tree stuff just right, like this, which means you're going to take some damage. Or like this, that's actually better. Uh, and then this guy can go here. Yeah, that'll do. The cook won't have anything to do, but we'll give them something to do in the next... Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta move him though, because he's floating. Uh, you're going to have to come over here someplace then. Oh, you could help trap. You could help trap the this thing, I think. Or will you take damage from that? Attacking you. Don't know. Okay. Uh, do we want to do this part? I think we do. Uh, you can go there. You can go here. And then the cook can go here. And collect some stuff. Okay. And anyway, I think I'd like to chop some more trees before we go. Yeah, we gained 12 food that time. That's pretty good. So one more time. We could find the right spot. Which is not going to be there, but that's good enough. Uh, oh, you got to move. Right. Here we go. Oh, good. We got the thing. That's good. I lose nine food for it, but I think it's okay. And then we can move on. 
come down this way. I'd like to go there, but we can't. Oh, that's a decent spot. We'll take some damage, though. Um, so well, that's not bad, but it's not great. Hmm, but maybe I don't like that because of that. So maybe we do... Maybe we do this then, I guess. Yeah, I'll just do this, and then we can do some cooking. You can just go maybe right there. I don't like that either. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the cook's not the best idea for this one then? I can't really hit a good tree source here that's one tile away to put the cook in between. So I think we'll just do these trees again. I'll go there this time. Go for it. Got you. Okay. And we might just want to move on. There is some food here, but we can't get it anymore. Let's just move on. I don't know what this is, so maybe that's something we should do. Uh, it looks like trees, they got covered in some sort of goop. Um, let's try it, see what happens. Is it just a different level? It might just be a different level. Uh, we got uh, scary bird time. Uh, what is that? Meat eating plant. Keep your food away from it, or maybe don't. Curious. Eating plant again. I can't get that though because it's out of my range. Um, big chicken. That's got to be hunted. Go here. Unfortunately, the cook's going to have nothing to do then. Maybe I can do something better with this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the cook like this. See how this goes. Uh, is it? I think that's good. Okay. Curious. Uh, what else can be hunted? Anything else? We lost that big chicken. Sadly. I think I'm just gonna leave you here and do one more one more trip. What are you going to give when we, when we finish this, though? Eight wood. We're going to... Actually, we're going to run out of food, so we need to move on. Let's move on. Let's see what this chest has. Maybe some food? Nope. Really? Secret recording. Sometimes when I'm out there, cutting trees, I feel this rage overwhelming me. And, and it scares me, Milbert. I, I, I don't know who I am. Is this me? Why do I have such an urge to cut? Is, is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong with me, Milbert? Jeremy, listen. I'm telling you this is a fellow gnome. We all experience this. This endless rage that overcomes us when we mine for resources. It scares us all, Jeremy. We're all just waiting for the day that the rage takes over. And us gnomes, well, it'll be last man standing. It'll be last man standing, Jeremy. Hope you're ready. Uh, Milbert? Milbert, are you okay? Oh, I don't like that look in your eye. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back in the cave. <laughs> Bizarre. Uh, let's kill this chicken here. 
Let's also put you in a place where you can chop a couple of things there. That's good. And I'll put the cook between you, of course. And let's see how that goes. And we're going to lose because you didn't kill the chicken. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We just lost. We barely escaped. Nine caves this time out of 13. Uh, we got some bunch of stuff. That's good. And we can come back up here. The bats are ravenous. Let's prepare better this time. Uh, so we are full up on that. We're full up on this. We'll have that for later. Uh, we could buy some more stuff now, though, possibly. Um, pipes and artificers. Uh, we don't know what we can use the artificer for just yet, but we could probably just buy one. We probably need the pipes then, too. Um... Fire weapon. I'm going to grills the food of hunted animals. Interesting. Uh, let's build that artificer. Oh, houses. Gnomes of here. Provides additional carriers that can carry resources from your main building. Your production building. And now we can build path, too. Oh, maybe we could before. But it didn't change the tabs. Oopsie. Okay. Either way. Uh, let's build the artificer, though, because we definitely need to have that. It definitely needs to be connected to a pipe. Uh, somehow, I imagine. There's the pipe connection. Okay. Are you connected to a road? You are connected to the road, I think. Yeah, you're connected to the road. So let's uh, build some pipe. We got a curve. What can you... Oh, that curve can't be curved that hard, though. Okay, you gotta move, then. Uh... No. I hit the wrong button. Um, let's maybe do something like this. Which isn't connected to a path, but that's okay, because now we know how we can make paths. Then we'll move this also. Uh, maybe somewhere over here. And then we can build a path. But I need to move these. Can I destroy bushes? Yes, I can. Oh, we get wood for doing so, too. Isn't that fancy? All right, and then we can do this and that. And then I just need one curved pipe for this. That'll be good. All right, so you should be connected now. Uh, so they should bring in something or other to you. I would like to build maybe a house, though, too, just for fun. Houses. Right here. House. That needs path, too, of course. Uh, but maybe we'll put them over here someplace. And then we can connect. Oh, interesting, you don't have to actually have the paths connected. Uh, but I'm going to connect them anyway. Like that. And that'll give us one other carrier, which is kind of useful. Uh, you got one of those. You made a bunch of that. You made some of these. All right, so we could continue this. But honestly, it's, um, it's probably long enough for the episode. So if you're interested in this game, uh, check it out on Steam. The demo is available this week during Steam Next Fest. And if this is something you'd like to see more of in the future when the game is released, let me know. And we can put it on the schedule for a series. But until then... Oh, this is done already. They made they made the thing. Okay, we got two of them things, though. That's good. Um, but until then, we will leave this here. And we'll keep an eye on this game for the future so that we can um, uh, experience it again. Uh, so thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.